hello everyone welcome to this quick how to that shows you how, uh, a way of using multiple context menu uh, with a single control for the sake of example we are going to use tree view control we will have our root node which represent the city for each city you will be able to add a number of street and inside each street you will be able to add a number of houses okay so to start with the example uh, let's uh, put here a tree view uh, a tree view control and where is that this is the tree view control now we are going to create the first node so click here click edit nodes click add root node now the text is the text that's the, uh, displayed so this one will be for example city here and the name will be used to identify the type of your node so the, the name here it will be city we will need that we will see why uh, click OK now we are gonna work on the context menu so go and add context menu strip right here and uh, you might want to change the name into city OP for city operations or okay city OP this is just a meaningful name uh, so now uh, for the city you are able to add a street right okay now there are the following uh, uh, before we start working on adding we should do the following this option of add, uh, uh, the context menu for adding street should only appear if you selected the city so this means we have to change the context menu at runtime. To do that, uh, make sure you are d uh, working on the uh, after select event, as you can see here, and the code should be like this: uh, if uh, tree view one dot selected node dot name, so, uh, sorry, dot uh, name equal city so if we selected the, a city node in that case then tree view one dot uh, context menu strip equal city op okay and exit sub otherwise we don't want to display any context menu at all so here for nothing as good as that right so now um uh, as simple as that okay uh, now let's work on adding street now dimension st a string and then st equal input box uh, enter the name of the street okay so here we are reading the name of the street and uh, now tree view one if you one dot selected node dot nodes dot add now I am gonna use the second constructor the first one is the key which helped me identify the type of the node so here I am gonna make it street so that I know I am later on when I select it and I am gonna set the name to st and then add st for that okay so th this is a pretty much how we do it now if we run this this is the city right to click add street and the street is aaa now this is the street right uh, so if I right to click now I get nothing but if I right to click click the city first and right to click it I can add a street now uh, when I select a street I should be able to add a house so now we are gonna work on another set of uh, options or an another context menu that only appear when I select a street uh, now uh, select another context menu strip here I'm gonna change this to street OP street OP okay now the street op contains two operations which is add house remove a street okay now 
uh, it, it depends of course this always depends on how you want to do things so let's go here now we should make our program smart enough to display the street menu whenever we select a street node so all we have to do is copy this modify it a little bit so if this one is a street then uh, this will be street op okay and uh, the reason I use street here is because the key I use to identify the node is street as you can see here okay so let me put the space here to make it more ele elegant okay now let's go to the menu we will, uh, when we select this one we must be able to add a house so adding a house is pretty straightforward okay so the code will be very similar except that this is hs just for the sake of the name enter the name of the house okay now this one should be house and hs and this one hs that's all okay so this is pretty much the code if we want to work on the remove street should be like this uh, tree view one dot selected node dot remove okay so this will remove the selected node right away let's uh, run the code um, right to click add a street uh, uh, let's call it one this is the first street right right to click again add street let's call it two okay let me put this in the center so that I don't have to now if I right to click here you can see I can add a house so h1 this is the first house if I right to click on uh, on the house I didn't put a menu for the house but here uh, if I select this and right click it I can see I can add house to move a street or I click this I can add a street so uh, let's add another house add house h2 okay um add house h3 let me add, uh, let me remove the first street remove street and i've just removed it as simple as, as that so um le let's continue this one and uh, create a third menu to remove the house okay it's pretty much the same so another context menu okay I'm gonna change that to house op and the house operation contains removing a house remove house which a house okay so um, this one should be just removing the selected node like this okay finally we must so uh, make the context menu the third context menu appear when we are selecting a house so control C control V if this one is house so this should be house operations as we can see here okay so now let's run the code okay so right to click add street street 1 okay right to click add a house house A right to click add a house house b select this one right to click remove the house and we just remove it so as you can see we have one tree view we have a three different context menu that change according to our selection okay hope you guys will find uh, hope that uh, you will find this useful if you have any question any suggestion or any any note i'll be happy to hear that from you so uh that will be all. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.